The most important thing that you can do to make great films is also probably the most, the biggest pain in the If it fits! So we're in pre-production for our November short film, Delirium Tremens, written and directed by Bradley Tyler Hawthorne and Sam Doustra. The script is great. I am excited for this one. This is kind of a departure for me. I tend to keep things a little, a little lighter, and I'm not sure that Brad would describe it this way, but I would just call it a straight-up drama. It'll be a nice change of pace for me to work on something like this. If I was a guy who's dealing with, um the the effects of detoxing from alcohol among other things but as we were prepping to go into production our first day of shooting is on monday it kind of dawned on me that scheduling might be the most important part of filmmaking as well as most of the time being the most tedious stressful and complicated endeavor you will ever undertake throughout the process of creating anything. Scheduling sucks. And so there are a lot of videos online already about making shot lists and um, creating shooting schedules and things like that, but I want to talk a little bit about the things that I've learned over the years. Just a few really practical things that I do anytime that I am trying to get the stars to align and get a group of people and things in the same place at the same time to make movies. I looked at, you can see my hands, I was doing this. Number one, start early, like way earlier than you ever would think that you need to start. And just know that when you do start that early, it's still not going to be early enough. It's never early enough. If you're talking to actors or you're reaching out to someone about space, it's gonna take them time to get back to you and then you have to go back to them and then when they do finally get back to you, they're gonna turn you down so then you have to go through the entire process again with other people. Everything is always going to be more difficult and more time consuming than you could ever imagine. And Again, no matter when you start, it will always be more hectic and more down to the wire than you expected. But the earlier you can start planning and the more diligent and prepared you are for the process, the less stress you'll feel throughout it. So instead of being at 11, you'll be at a nine, a nice, a nice easy nine. So pick a date that you think will give you enough time to send those emails, make those calls, get everything together, and then start two weeks before that date. Number two, have your shot list done and your script breakdown done before you start scheduling anything. Before you start sending those emails and before you start making those calls, you're going to need to know what you need on those days. Amazon Prime has made last minute prop buying so much easier, but you're not gonna like when you book the perfect space and realize that your essential prop is coming the day after you shoot. You're not gonna be happy. You can consolidate your shooting schedule. It's hard enough getting everyone in the same place at the same time once. So use them as much as you can when you have them and save everyone the headache of trying to schedule multiple days when everything can be done in one day with a little bit of planning. And you can't do all that if you don't know your script inside and out. So do all your homework before you start scheduling. Number three, find the priority. It could be the actor, it could be the space, it could be the time of day. Nothing is ever going to be perfect. Ever. And so you need to figure out the essentials and then work from there. If you find a space that is available at a certain date on a certain time and it's essential to the plot, then you need to find actors that are available on that date and time. If you don't think it's enough time, then you have to make a decision is that space the essential space? Then you have to adjust your script or adjust your shooting schedule to get everything you need in the allotted time. If it's the actor that you need and they're on a set schedule, then you need to be looking for spaces that you can use when that actor is available. I find that a lot of people just try and get everything and they spend too much time trying to figure out a puzzle that won't fit together. And again, especially when you're working with a limited time and a limited budget, the most practical thing you can do is figure out the essentials, what your story absolutely needs, and then figure out what, if any, restrictions those essentials are forcing on you. And then you work on your schedule from there. Also, obviously, another best practice is just to write a script that involves all the people and the spaces that you know you have, which is a great idea, but also sometimes the ideas are gonna come up and you're gonna wanna execute those ideas. And I think you shouldn't stop pursuing different ideas. Just, you might just have to work a little harder on how to get them done. Number four, confirm. This seems like a basic one, but just confirm everything. Just do it. Confirm with everyone until they're sick of hearing from you. Communication is the most difficult thing in life. <laughs> And, but the uh, most, the more, the simpler and the easier that you can make the scheduling process and the communication of that scheduling process, the less stress you're going to feel throughout production. Get down to an eight, maybe a nice eight. 
triple check that everyone knows when and where they're supposed to be and that you have all the gear and props that you need when you need them. And finally, number five, be flexible and stay calm. You're prepared. You started planning aggressively early. You've confirmed with everyone. You are ready to go. Everything will go wrong. Everything. Weather, unreliable people, unforeseen events that stop very reliable people from getting there. Things that you forgot or, or you didn't even think about. The space is double booked. Anything and everything will happen. Stay calm. You are now officially making a movie. I feel like I say it a lot, but filmmaking is problem solving. It's part of the fun of it. Making a film will never be about checking boxes and getting everything right so that everything runs smoothly. It's always gonna be about how you deal with the problems and decisions that come up and are put in front of you in the moment. It's constantly figuring out the best way forward to tell the story that you wanna tell in the best way that you can. Trying to force things to happen is first of all gonna make a stressful experience for everyone else, which you don't want. It's gonna hurt the story you're trying to tell as opposed to adapting to the situation. Sometimes the moments that you end up loving the most in your final product are the things that you never had planned to begin with and just came about on the day, in the moment. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let me know in the comments if you have any scheduling horror stories, first of all, or any other tips that you like to use, really practical tips that you like to use when you're scheduling your films. The next short, Delirium Tremors, is going to premiere right before Thanksgiving on the 25th, I think. Um, so make sure you are on the lookout for that and subscribe to the channel and all the social if you want to see more behind the scenes stuff about the process of making that. I will see you next week.